Welcome back to AJ Zeri. This is Unfolding, Becoming, and Self-Discovery. And now we're going to get into the story, AJ Samar, story time. So you want to get comfortable and listen to me tell you a beautiful story. I'm very excited. I love this story. I love this book. If you know anything about AJ Smart, you know, I've been trying to read y'all Calabash and Cowards every chance I get. Very excited. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to be reading from A Calabash of Cowries by Louisa Tish. And this is um, Ancient Wisdom for Modern Times. Um, and it's from part one, The Calabash. And the story is The Creation Story. Every culture has a creation story. They vary greatly. Creation stories were designed to explain the coming of material reality and to guide the behavior of human beings in relationship to it. In this rendition, I have integrated elements from several myths found in the diaspora. Note, that according to African belief, the snake is not an evil creature. Instead, he represents the depository of ancestral memory. In the beginning, at a time where there was no time, all that existed was the great silence in the dark depth of the cosmic womb, Nanabuluku. Within the womb, Olodumare, the great egg of the world, sat in patient potential, waiting for the faded moment of its hatching. Suddenly, a sound burst out from the center of the egg. Ooh. Then the life-giving particles in the egg quickened and set into motion a tremendous bang, causing creative air spirits to dance among themselves in the form of gases. Some danced themselves into fire Others clashed and collided into the fireballs spinning through the deep blue of space. In the frenzy of their joy, Mao, the moon, and Lisa, the sun, were born. They leapt and tumbled together and formed Yemaya Olokun, the ocean. Then great masses of land erupted from her depth, forming the earth. The rushing hum of the ocean splashed itself against Earth's shores. Sun stepped forward to perform his solo, and the moon laid back to cool herself off in the upper deep. As the sun performed his slow drag over the surface of the Earth, life stirred in his rays. In the depth of the sea, Things began to form, a single cell divided into two, making seaweed, hydra, and fish. The crab crawled out of the water and found that on land, life was moving. Seeds burst open, forming flowers, trees, and fruits. Spiders crawled, birds flew, and bush cows roamed in the forest. A blazing heat permeated the earth, causing all things to stir and take shape. But the sun's heat was overwhelming. Things were be overdone. So he receded and the moon brought forth her dance. She circled slowly through the night sky, cooling the earth, settling the seed, calming the waters, and leaking a mysterious ray of subtle light, ashe, that tempered everything on earth. 
The moon called out, alarmed by the magnitude of the work they had done. Her cry resounded to the depths of the earth and up from the center came the rainbow serpent, Dambala Huedu. The serpent wrapped himself around the earth and the sky, holding, holding the two together like a covered calabash. Sun and moon smiled at the work of the serpent. Within his ring of power, the celestial couple made love and brought into being all the deities in pairs, twins in all things. On the planet's surface, below, the palm and banana trees swayed in the wind. Birds sang, fish swam, and the bush cows roamed in the garden. <laughs>